Hey guys, and welcome back to Karuna Satori Basic. So, long time, no videos. I actually just filmed a family mail video, which will be up Monday or Tuesday. I have to edit out some sounds. Um, my mom's dog, unfortunately, is dying, and whenever she wakes up in the middle of the morning, she hacks, and I'm talking like, you can hear it, like I'm on the top floor. Um, my mother and the dog are downstairs, and the poor thing she's just like she's at her end and it's it's really sad so I have to edit some things out but um, I'm gonna try to do this video first um, you guys know if if you don't know me and you're just clicking this to watch the review um, probably fast forward like one or two minutes maybe I'll put the timestamp down below it's not anything too important um, it's just a little bit about me I have watched you know like drama channels for maybe a year and a half now I watch them every single morning when I put on makeup that and Kendall Ray and her boyfriend or her husband Josh Delore um, the conspiracy videos and everything so it's like a mix of the two it's really weird and um, one person I used to watch all the time was John Cookian um, I started off watching Peter Mon actually from him he was always on john's recommended so i started watching him and i was like i can't stand your voice but i loved what he had to say and him and i have spoken a few times um we were actually supposed to do a collab a while back and we didn't end up doing that which is fine but um he's still a great person i look up to him very like highly and then the whole john cookie and thing i always thought he was kind of mean but overall i really liked his videos and i liked who he was until he did what he did to peter mon now i never knew about back when whenever he did the first time he like made a hate video or something and I, I've never really seen it but the whole recent thing calling um, uh, Peter a pedophile I think is very extremely life-threatening um, it can really damage a person's mental state you know putting a name or a label on somebody who is not that person it's just very damaging and even the most intelligent of people can you know come to believe something that's not true so but anyway, so John, you know, I wouldn't watch his videos anymore, but he came out with a makeup line and everybody was complaining. And, you know, you know how people kind of milk drama? Like, it's just to the point where it's not even worth talking about anymore, but people will milk it and milk it and stretch it and just the dumbest shit. Like, trust me, I go through it. You know, a lot of YouTubers go through it. Um, well, the whole makeup thing, I was like, kind of, I don't know, I kind of liked his products and... You know, a makeup company is different from the person. I mean, you're choosing to support. So, I don't know. I'm probably talking out of my ass. But basically, I went out and bought the Cookie Yun um, lip kits. And everybody was saying they weren't getting their lip kits. And I can't find that many reviews. Um, on John's Snapchat, he says that, you know, everybody's kind of getting their lip kits now. Like, late January shipping. Um, I'm not going to sit here and explain the whole story with this cosmetic company. Other than I know that he got those fucking eyeshadows off of AliExpress, so. Um, and that's what leads me to today's video. Last night, I did a live Snapchat review, and I'm gonna show you right now that this shit does not come off your hands, but I'm not going to sit here and act like I'm going to put him down throughout the whole video. I'm just gonna do a quick unboxing and show you everything. I'm gonna do live swatches, and I'm gonna put it on my lips. Now, if you're wondering why my lips are swollen, swollen no, it is not from John Cookian's lipstick. The lipstick is very cheap, and you'll see that in person and everything. I'll do this all on camera, no editing. The only jump cut I will do is to go downstairs and um, wipe off my lips and then we'll do the live review on camera. There's nothing like I'm going to hide, nothing I'm gonna, you know, try to put him down with. This is makeup. I'm not reviewing him as a person. In my opinion, he sucks as a person, but I feel like people who are very hateful usually are suffering inside, so I hope whatever's going on with him, he gets the help he needs, honestly. So, moving on, um, yeah, let's do the whole unboxing, I guess. I'm trying to make this as quick as possible, and then, but anyway, why my lips are swollen is, um, I, I bought this suction cup thing off Amazon where you stick your lips in it. It's kind of like a Kylie, that Kylie Jenner challenge or whatever, and for some reason, my whole upper lip, like, it literally like went and just blew up or whatever my bottom lips fine but my upper lip it was so much more swollen like on my asmr channel everybody was like what the fuck happened like uh, <laughs> so luckily i'm lucky like i'm lucky i didn't damage my lips for good so no it was not the cookie and lipstick that did that to my lips if you're wondering so the packaging i got this in like a huge cardboard box it was a 15 pound limit box um i'll actually show you guys so whenever I ordered it, I ordered it about a week ago. It shipped immediately almost. Um, I'll give them that. I got updates throughout. Um, here is the, it shipped from a weird phone number. You can see I really don't care to put that out there. Um, 
but uh yeah the order showed up uh, they sent me updates every time and then yeah it was weight 15.8 pounds it was like one of those things i don't know if you can see it pause the video and try to zoom in but fedex sent it so i mean it did get here pretty fast I'll say like a week or something. I think I ordered it on the 4th. I'm not sure. Whatever. It did ship fast, so I'll give them that. So that's the first thing. You know, I ordered it, immediately got updates. There was nothing wrong. Um, I think for two days, my shipping label or the tracking number did not work, and that's just because of processing that has nothing to do with, you know what I mean, him scamming or anything like that. Now, this whole lip kit was $31. I ordered one lip kit. It comes with one lipstick and two lip liners. Um, when you open the box... It's like pretty much empty. I don't know why he like chose to make a box this big. But I will say that this this box, I, I love the packaging. Like I love it. Um, but overall, like I said, the product sucks and we'll see. Well, I'll show you why. So whenever you open it, you see like um, share your looks with cookie and vegan cruelty free developed in England. Shop online cookie and co. Um, cookie and cookie and cookie and cookie and cookie and whatever. I could do an ASMR video on this shit at the end or the bottom, you know, recycle, blah, blah, blah. I really like that. Whenever you first open it, there's really nothing in it. Like I said, I don't know why he did this whole like box kind of thing, but I really do dig the packaging. So whenever you open the box, um, it comes with the cookie and lip kit we'll get into that and then it comes with a little pamphlet at the bottom so this is like my first review so go easy on me guys like if you're watching this and you, you aren't familiar with who i am i run an asmr channel um <laughs> i don't really do anything on this channel that's why it's like current story basic it's just a bunch of basic random like fucked up stupid shit um about my life and you know drama and all that kind of shit that i just like put out there to the world for no reason other to get validation and attention so anyway whenever you open it this is what you get inside the box so we'll go through real quick um there was a film on this it was just like a like a weird waxy film like this whole feeling kind of thing is like really waxy but it's it's really nice like he did very well on the packaging i'll give him that we'll go through that in a minute here's the pamphlet whenever you you know it says pigment i have no idea what the what what kind of fucking like english or grammar or whatever the fuck is on here like i have no idea it's just like weird words i've never heard of before pigment metallis ecrase i don't know how i'm i'm horrible at speaking other languages forgive my ignorance um so maybe you guys you know know the words being used here because i i sure as hell don't whenever you open it immediately you know pictures very glossy finish i really like the pamphlet um like i said the packaging i probably would have bought the damn thing just for the packaging i think it's beautiful so this this these are all his colors i believe in the eyeshadow i'm assuming but i don't know why it's i have no i, I don't know Shows a picture of the lip kit, you know, the two liners, whatever. Then whenever you get into the thing, it says guide, de product, product guide, whatever. Comfortable and lightweight, ultra pigmented, long wearing, enriched with vitamin E and Simo's something Chinese seed extract. There's no goddamn way and you'll see why. I do not believe there is anything nourishing in this product. That's just my opinion. It's my opinion. <laughs> no but it really is and i'm not like speaking for everyone for somebody other you know could try it on their lips like my lips are naturally really dry so you know i constantly have to have chapstick on them that's maybe why the pigment was so bad on my lips and i'll also say this the shit my battery the color of the lip kit is nothing like the actual color that was featured and i'll show you so anyway it shows the lip collection each collection contains matte liquid lipstick meme lip liner i don't know how to pronounce that meme meme lip liner full size same shade ombre lip liner a oh so it would be meme meme mem fuck full size deeper shade so yeah the you'll see um you go in for delicious results that is just cringe just like me so it works step one ox oxfoliate and then under in parentheses it says exfoliate with an emollient i have no fucking idea what that means step two define the cupid's bow lower lip with liner of choice i like how he does put like you know instructions in here i kind of dig that whatever step three apply a thin layer maybe that's why i fucked it up so bad because i'm over here like i can't even get it on my lips and you'll see like we'll do a live thing ombre to create an ombre effect you know once the lipstick is completely dried down use the ombre lip liner to shade the corn oh, okay so you're supposed to put the lipstick on first oops cleanse to remove gently exfoliate 
it says exfoliate here, not oxfoliate, with a cleanser designed to remove waterproof makeup. So, as you can see, I scrubbed the fuck. You know what? We'll go downstairs and I will actually try to wash this off in front of you guys. Um, it came off my lips pretty well with a, um, what do you call it? Help me out here. Makeup removing wipe. But, I mean, it came right off my lips, but my skin, man, it's like stuck on there. Um, if you guys want to follow my Snapchat, it's still up, but by the time I post this video, it won't be, so I'll just, whatever. All right, so then the next page after the lip, um, things, this just shows, like, my color that I got, Mayfair, so it's just showing, you know, how to use it and stuff like that. I don't know that, I take that back, that's not Mayfair at all, that's something else. Metallic Crush Pigment, um, I don't, I don't... I don't like it. Like, I don't like, I don't like the eyeshadows. I don't trust the eyeshadows. Like, there's too much evidence out there that shows that he bought those eyeshadows off of AliExpress. Um, another thing with the lips, lip kit, you'll see, um, how cheap the tubing actually is. Like I said, he should just be a graphic designer. He is incredible at designing, um, whatever the fuck he's designing, but when it comes to the fucking product, it sucks. The applicator tip, everything. I just don't like it, and we'll go through it. Then it shows the shook color, um, titties titties seductive burgundy rich wood undertone whatever Remember that girl she did like some review <laughs> her and her boyfriend she's like john you <laughs> like, oh my god like i have not like i cannot be that exci excited about a product like my new favorite thing you know what we'll use this as like a uh what do you go this is what's on my lip now this is the kat von d studded kiss cream lipstick and it literally goes on so smooth. You know, I should probably have brought like a Jeffree Star lipstick or something to compare it to because it's just garbage. So anyway, and then at the end it says go to pops of color, metallic crush pigments, more closely related to loose pigments. It just basically, you know, shows, it explains his, he's just trying to like compensate for the shitty um, quality of his makeup by, you know, writing all this shit down, making it seem important. And I like that. I like his marketing strategy, so. Bring your look to life using the custom supplied applicator. Right. Um, apply either a lighter, dense layer of pigment, then blend using either an applicator or a soft blending blush. Tips for application similar to loose pigment. Attempting to pack on a color using a soft natural brush may result in excessive, excess fallout. Using the supplied applicator will eliminate this. And then that's it. So that is the pamphlet. Now let's get into the actual product. So I'll give you a look. You guys can like pause the video if you want to like see it up close. Um, it's about, I have a huge head, so it's pretty nice, decent size lip kit um, on the side. Like, it's it's decorated everywhere, and I really like that. It's not simple. It's not simplified or simplistic, whatever the word I'm trying to use. I dropped out of high school. All right. Um, Mayfair. Soft, matte, cool, mauve, looks, luxe, classic, long wear matte, meme, lip liner, whatever. It just shows the description of the box on this side. Um, it says, color intense, intense color. What the hell was that? L-A-E-B-E-S-T-I-F-T, -E -E whatever that means. I think it's just like in different languages here. So you can pause and try to see. I don't know, my camera sucks. It doesn't focus. I'm filming on an iPhone 6S Plus, what I use to film on my main channel. Um, let's see, on the bottom, just the barcode. And then on the back, I dig the back. Um, long wear matte. It just explains what you have. Soft mauve, cool mauve, lux, lux, whatever. Shows the grams, um, shows the ingredient list. And in my honest opinion, um, first off, it has all these colors. And the one one ingredient that I know specifically just from growing up and stuff like this is Red 40. And that is a Red 40 Lake. It's an extremely... Um, it's not, I'm not going to say it's like dramatically damaging, but it's known to cause cancer and things like that. It's basically a dye used to create colors in like certain foods and stuff. Sour Patch Kids had them for a long time. Um, it's used in everything. And I actually think it's banned in the UK. So forgive me, please don't take that to heart. Like that's not, you know, a truthful thing. It's just what I'm known or what I'm, what I heard to know or whatever. So moving on, we'll open it. Comes with a little silky tab, pull out. What did he say in his like release video? He's like, this is made of Egyptian something. I'm like, what the fuck? So I did already do this. So these two are backwards. So this should be down here. This should be up here. So it's nothing that he did or anything. He did that, you know, correctly. So this is right whenever you get it, you know, same thing. Two lip liners, we'll pull them out. Easy opening of the packaging, I dig that. Um, lip liners, these were a little bit hard to get in the end out, but that's okay. I like how they have the whole thing he it seemed like to be honest with you whenever he did the un unboxings or whatever or the reveal 
he was more proud of his packaging than he was of his product. And I like that. Like, be proud of something. Like, go work for something you know how to do. Like, if you truly designed all of that yourself, like this, all of this, then kudos to you, man. Go work in that area. But don't fucking, like, scam people and try to act. All right, first off, this color is nothing like Mayfair, what it actually looks like. So let's actually do some swatches first. Obviously, I, you know, this is just ridiculous ridiculous i cannot get this off my arm so you just saw me try to rub this off it's just it's not coming off like i'm gonna make my skin really red from that it just will not come off i have some makeup remover wipes right here i'll actually try in a minute but let's do the swatches first so the first one we're gonna try is the mayfair meme i don't know how to fucking pronounce it all i'm thinking of memes and memes and fucking whatever so this is the meme lip liner I'm doing ASMR. I'm sorry, guys. I'm so used to it. Um, we'll just try it on this side here. I'm going to smack the microphone doing this. So when I did this live swatch yesterday, damn it, it's not going to focus. I'm going to have to go downstairs and do this. Plus, I did it where I have a lot of hair, so I'm not going to, you know, ruin it. You know what? Where is an empty spot on my arm here? There we go. We'll just do it up here. Ready? I'm just drawing some lines to show you guys where there's no hair. It goes on, like this one works fine, in my opinion. Um, there was nothing wrong with this one. And again, just follow along with me. You know what, I can just do this on my hand as well. Close. Like, I think it's fine. Um, it does go a little bit, you know, it. What's the word? Like, should lip li like, forgive my ignorance, but I don't know if lip liner should go on, excuse me, like, even or anything like that. It doesn't go on even. Like, there's little pieces of the actual pencil, like, on my skin and stuff like that. And that's the same thing that happened yesterday. And as you can tell, like, this obviously, like, there was something that smudged here compared to, like, just something's wrong with the lipstick itself. But the lip liners, I don't, I don't know that much about it to judge. You know what I mean? Like, so I can't really... This is just me swatching it. So this is the ombre one. This is really dark. <sighs> okay, so. See, like you can, here, I'll even try to do it like really even for you guys. All right. God damn, I'm like not good at focusing. And if I hit the camera thing, the AE log, it'll just fuck up. But, um. <sighs> We'll do, whenever I go downstairs, we'll do a zoom in. There's no hair here, so it is just product. And then whenever I go over with, with my finger, we'll do a swatch downstairs too. You know, lip liner, I'm assuming is supposed to just smudge. Please don't judge me for the lip liner. I just don't know much about lip liner to say that, you know, it's a bad product. But this is where I'm going to see, like, look at that. There's a lot of oil in the bottom. Damn it, it's not showing. Oh, yes, it is. Can you see it? Like the products? It's like, there we go. Wait, no, it's still not doing it. It's really oily, like at the bottom, the product is like just seeping around there. Like I really wish I could get it to you, but all right. I'm just gonna, you know what? I'm gonna shake the product because I don't want to be told, oh, you didn't shake it or some shit that he'll come up with or you shook it and then, <laughs> so whenever you take it out, um, my husband and I came to the conclusion that it smells, all right, you go to the, go to the Dollar General or any dollar store right now and get LA Color Lipstick. Uh, the one that I use all the time is the matte lipstick or whatever from the dollar store. The exact same smell. My husband and I came up with the smell of Play-Doh mixed with strawberry. That cheap smell, if you guys grew up in the 90s or 80s or whatever, you guys know that the childhood lipstick and makeup that we used had this weird chemical smell to it. And that's exactly what this did. He put some kind of artificial scent in here and it just doesn't smell good. It's just not something, like this is not a professional product. Another thing with the packaging down here, like I really wish I could get this like color to you, like the whole fucking, like the products like mixing down here, like there's a lot of oil in it. Anyway, so um, I'm like looking to try to see it, do it, but the packaging, like this is a very plastic cheap applicator. That's fine, whatever. As long as it goes on, you could give me like MAC lipstick and use this applicator. I don't care, the applicator doesn't bother me. Now the, 
the actual sponge, it sucks. So let's do a swatch. Okay. Not bad. It goes on even. Oh my god, I'm gonna dump the whole product out. Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. Alright, you get real close. Whatever, we'll try a different one, like right here. Yeah, this sucks. I'm not good at swatching. Obviously, you guys can tell. So, <laughs> we'll do some at the end, but I'll do it on my wrist too. There's just not a lot of product in there either. Like, it goes on fine, I guess. Like, it. There we go. It's kind of focusing now, you can see. There's nothing too dramatic of it. Now, let's actually try to get this shit off of my hands. We'll go downstairs, I'll apply it for you guys. You know what? Maybe I'll just remove my lipstick right here. We'll see. But anyway, while that dries, I'm gonna take a All May Makeup Remover Cleansing Towelette with aloe. I'm actually allergic to aloe, but I mean, if I put this shit on my face, then it's gonna burn. Sorry, the battery. But I'm fine just removing it. So if it gets red, it's not his makeup, it's, it's the wipe. rough but it's coming off definitely still leaves some residue now let's try to get the stuff off that I <laughs> yesterday I'm telling you, I used oil volet and a sponge to try to get this off All right, I'm still trying hard but it's coming off now it is and you can tell this looks nothing like Mayfair it's just a very pink color and it definitely stains like you can still no matter how hard Okay, yeah, see, that aloe is burning my skin. This is probably, should, probably should have brought a different makeup wipe. <laughs> but, um... See, it's just not coming off right away. It's hard. But he did say in the instructions, use a waterproof makeup. So, meh. This is what I just swatched. It just takes a lot to come off. And I don't like that. I really don't like that. It came right off my lips, I mean, in a period of like two minutes. But all right, this is what I just, let's see, it's almost dry. It's dry right here, but it's not dry like right up here. So we'll wait, see if it smudges. Um, just did this one. I don't like it. <sighs> yeah, I don't like it. It just, it stains. Like, it, you really need to, like, work hard to get this off, and it's just not coming off, so. This is, like, like I said, like, whenever I first showed you guys, it did not come off last night in the bath. Like, the lip liners are coming off fine. And here. Still wet, but I don't know how long it's supposed to dry. He really didn't leave instructions on that. All right, so. Can still see the product a little bit. It's nothing dramatic. Like, it's just not a good product. Like, I'm not going to sit here and be like, it's burning my skin. Like, it's not. It just sucks. <laughs> all right. So what I'm going to do now is remove all the... lipstick from my lips now and aloe doesn't really affect my lips um not that I know of so if my lips get even more swollen <laughs> that's why so see the cap on D make of it it just comes right off like I already have it sorry my lips are really chapped all right so Lip liner goes on terribly. Usually like the lip liner I use is like Maybelline and stuff like that and it goes on very smooth. I mean the product comes off easier but if that's the look he's trying to go for and the reason I'm putting the um, meme lip liner on first is just because I usually do that when I do wear lip liner. So. Okay. 
Okay. Just trying to smudge it off, see if it... Yeah, I guess. All right, time for the big reveal. We'll do the ombre after if we want, so. The cookie on lipstick. Lip liner sucks, doesn't go on right. I hate it. And it's like dark and it's smudged. Like you can see all these little like dots, just like whenever I showed you, whenever I swatched it. Like it just, it's not even and it's not focusing enough to show you, but I'll add some pictures at the end of the video to show you what I mean. The pictures don't mean anything. Like unless you're doing like a live review, you know what I mean? Like it's not, you can't trust it. Like you have to just see for yourself. That's why I wanted to do this live, but here, I'll hurry up and do this because my phone's about to die. So the Mayfair color looks absolutely nothing. I'll do a side by side, but let's try to put this on. All right. He said, put on a thin layer. like darker here. I just don't like it. Like it doesn't go on right in my opinion. I don't know. Jeffree Star lipstick goes on like a lot better. Let's try a different layer. It doesn't look anything like yesterday. Yesterday, whenever I tried to put it on, the product just would not go on my lips. So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm going to just put this right here and do a screenshot, ready? Okay, and then I'm gonna add in the next clip what it looks like. but I'm like smelling it. Overall, it sucks, in my opinion. I really don't like it, like, it dries quick. I'll give them that. I mean, obviously that's just product because I'm not letting it dry, but it dries quick. But it's an ugly color. I would never use this. I would never put it on your lips. And again, before and after. Now let's see if it comes off my lips. Like I said, it comes off pretty easy. Use the same one. I didn't use a side or anything, so. Mm. It's not coming off right away. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, it comes off pretty well. So. Mm. Like I said, I just, I don't like it. Like, I would not recommend this to anybody, so. Overall, the packaging is beautiful. Let's see, the ombre, we forgot to do the ombre. Where's that at? That's on the floor. Okay. The ombre goes on pretty nice. Oh, oops, I was supposed to put the lipstick on first. Whatever, hold on. So this is like one of those reviews that you can't trust, but I just wanted to do like a live kind of like show you in person what kind of, you know, thing. But he's proud of it. Like he's proud of his, you know, makeup. And I guess, you know, if you work as hard as he has in his kitchen to make this formula, which to be honest, it's the exact same fucking formula as, you know, a dollar store lipstick. In fact, I'm going to fucking find... Somehow I'm gonna find the ingredients to the cheap LA colors, which actually are a lot nicer than this. Like it just, I don't like it, I don't trust it, and I'm so sorry, so I don't know. The ombre lip liner's nice. I'll probably use that someday, but these two, I do not suggest buying this. I just don't, I'm sorry. Like, 
I doubt John's watching this. He has so much hate going on. I doubt he like looks at anything on the internet and I don't blame him. Like, holy shit, people are after him. But you know, you reap what you sow. You know, he kind of put himself in that position. But as far as the lipstick goes, it sucks. It's very cheap. The smell is very chemically smell. It's just masked with a very artificial scent. I do not recommend this product. If you want to buy it for the packaging, then by all means, pretty, pretty packaging, but the product is garbage. I've never reviewed anything like this on any of my channels before, like lipstick or makeup or anything like that. So don't, you know, take my word for it. Go out if you have the extra $31 and buy it. $31 for these three products is a lot of money, um, especially that I now know that the product feels like fucking, you know, dollar store brand. He's probably only charging that much because of the packaging, let alone this. I never know if he went and did private labeling or not. There's just a lot of evidence out there. Like the evidence is all out there. Like go to Reddit, go to Guru Gossip, go everywhere. You know, there's, and I am not the type of person to promote Guru Gossip, but they do have a lot of good information, background information that can be proven there in the threads of like the John Cookie and threads. Um, you know, it's just research. You need to research the shit before you buy it. He didn't even put his ingredients on it first and, you know, come to find out that, like, two of the ingredients were, like, non-vegan and then he's like, yes, it is, and, like, <laughs> all this shit. But overall, I don't know. The Mayfair color, like I said, I'm, at the end of the video, I'll show you a before, like, what it's supposed to look like. Then again, I don't know. My skin's very pale. Pale. I'm so pale. And I, I just... It, it, you just gotta look at it like, you know, from your perspective. Go out if you have the money and buy it if you really want to try it. But in my opinion, it's a fucking waste of $31 and tax. Waste. So I hope this review like gave you guys some insight on the whole John Cookie and thing or whatever. If not, I'm really sorry. Like I'm just not good at, you know, like reviewing and again i'm not gonna sit here and wallow in my own self-pity because i don't know how to fucking review makeup if you guys want to put me on your pr list i mean that would go ahead but i don't i don't know thank you guys for watching um not worth it do not buy it it smells like chemicals and it tastes like shit have a good day bye